And do you mind just to say a few words about your Polish upbringing? Because I think you, sure. I think that would you say that that let's flash back now 50 years and little Geddes in his you know in his house and with his mother and father. Do you think that they championed special values that you still remember that that you're such a fantastic, nice, you know, modest person as you are? Uh, well, thank you. My, you know, my, I had good parents. I was very fortunate. Sadly, my father died when I was about 12, but uh, my mother raised me mostly. But, you know, they were born in Poland, and uh, my mother was born in Warsaw. And Warszawa. Sorry? Warszawa. Yeah. And uh, my father was born in, what was the name of the town? Starachowice. Ah, Ostrowice, yeah, My mother moved to Starachowice when she uh -huh. was very young, and then the war broke out, unfortunately, and they were both, uh, because of Jewish background, they were both incarcerated for many years. And my mother was liberated then eventually in um, Germany, as was my father, and they found each other again after the war. They met uh, in the camps in Poland because they were from two different towns, that, but they were in the same camp and they met and they kind of fell in love. So it's kind of a nice story in a way. And, and, Very touching. And they, uh, I know they were both in Auschwitz together and my father would uh, somehow find shoes and bribe the officers to send the shoes to my mother. And so even though there was this horrible background, this horrible time, uh, after the war they, they found each other. My father found my mother and, and they got married. So uh, so out of this horrible thing came me. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful creature. <laughs> thank, thank you guys. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's why I'm here. And you figured out that she, she had champions special value saying, get you have to do this, you have to do that. Because I think I would, maybe it sounds very stupid and I'm trying to maybe to do something that I shouldn't do, but I think you guys are Eastern European pride, because Alex is Yugoslavia and you're yes, Polish. Yes, yes. And I think there is something maybe in, in, your, in your blood that you guys are hard working and achieving something without looking at, oh, we should be playing some stuff which is more popular with the radios. What would you say to this kind of idea? Well, my, my parents were very hard working people, and as were Alex's, and you know, and, and coming out of the war, that generation really knew and appreciated freedom and appreciated that you had to work for what you had. So of course we were brought up with very middle class values, you know. Uh, we were not born with a lot of money, we came from very modest background, so everything my parents had and Alex's parents had, they had to work hard for. So I think that's, that's our role models, right? These are the people that taught you your very first things, so I mean, we're lucky that that's kind of was ingrained in us, and so we weren't afraid of hard work. And, and uh, but of course, we work at a job that's really fun. So it's it's not hard to be dedicated to a kind of job that's so much fun. Uh, to be honest, how supportive it's not like working in a mine or something. You know, it's it's a rock band. Uh, so yes, we're working hard, but we're also enjoying ourselves. So how supportive was she? Because then suddenly she maybe wanted you to go to college and be an engineer, or a doctor, or a lawyer. Well, always a doctor or a lawyer, but uh, she was very disappointed when I started I guess. playing. Yeah, she was, I, rock music wasn't high on her list of, of jobs for her son. <laughs> Believe me, she was not uh, supportive in the very early days. And, and I think she didn't understand what we were doing, you know. She was, again, an immigrant, come to a new country, learn a new language, and then she sees her son making music that didn't sound much like music to her, so. But when she finally saw me on television, she went, oh, he's an entertainer, I understand. She just thought I had lost my marbles, right? <laughs> <laughs> and just when somebody mentions Poland, except for your upbringing, mom and stuff, what springs to your mind when you say Poland? How do you associate the word with the, with the country? With what? Well, I just think about I just think about my my parents really. Uh, Not it's, Chopin. It's hard. Well, Chopin is a good one. But, uh, wasn't Franz Liszt? He, was he Polish? No, he was no, Hungarian. He, he was Hungarian. Yeah. Uh, now, unfortunately, it's so tied to my, my mm -hmm. parents' history that, uh, that that's immediately where I go. But I guess you've been a couple of years back, you've been to Poland. Your I was in Poland memories? in 1995, yeah. I took my mom and my sister and my brother and we went back and 
uh, saw Warsaw, where she was born, and we went to uh, her town of Strachowice, and we went to Krakow, and we did visit, visit Auschwitz, which was very emotional. Yeah, how was Auschwitz for you? Because I think this is... It was very hard. Uh, it was very hard for my mother, uh, but I think it was really important for her to go back with her children and, and say to herself, you know, life has moved on, and, and she felt, in a way, uh, victorious to be returning with her family that probably should not exist but does. So it was a very good trip for her. And she was quite a different person after she came back. Uh, she was much prouder and I was telling someone else from Poland this morning that um, it was amazing transformation. We went to Germany first uh, uh, and there was a big ceremony celebrating her liberation 50 years later. And it was like we were taking care of her there. But when we landed in Poland, she became Mama. the boss. <laughs> she was speaking the language. She was taking us around. So it, she, her roots came out. She's like, well, you're in my homeland now, so I'm going to show you guys around. So it was quite nice to see that flip, you know. And do you know any Polish words? Get it? Possibly you should. None I can say on television. Only dirty ones. Yeah, yeah. And, and not <laughs> Which is good. 